This is uh, my koi in my outside big koi pond. Uh, we just did a uh, complete water change on their pond. It had quite a bit of algae and leaf buildup, corn husks that uh, blew in over the winter. In the center there you can see my water lily uh, tub container. It's a black water tank that I took out of an old uh, pickup camper shell and uh, it contains my uh, water lilies uh, pretty well so that the rest of the pond is completely bare. Um, usually the well water that I put in here doesn't have a lot of oxygen in it but because it's cold the fish don't uh, stress out too much uh, when I use it. Not sure exactly how many gallons this pond is, but uh, these uh, smaller koi are ones that uh, were actually some that I raised last year from um, eggs. I uh, left a number of the eggs in the pond and I was uh, surprised and uh, how successful I was at getting a number of them to survive and I culled all the uh, ones that I thought were a little bit on the ugly side last fall and I kept about uh, 30 or 40 uh, smaller koi that I thought had pretty nice coloring. As you can see they are uh, multiple colors. Hope you enjoy the video. Give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions about what raising koi the simple way, uh, that's what I do. I've had koi now for about a decade. They're a lot of fun to uh, breed in the spring. They're not really good aquarium fish. They do best outside. They're actually a, a species of carp. I have both the long fin butterfly koi, like that one that you see in the middle of the viewfinder there, and also the more common koi that are uh, the ones that the Japanese are so famous for. None of my koi costs more than uh, $10. Thank <sighs> you.